everybody, welcome back to another episode of the McGuire Homestead. I'm Todd McGuire, and in today's episode, we're going to be showing you how to build a maple sap evaporator out of an old oil drum. Now, I don't take any originality for this build. You can go over to our friends on another YouTube channel, Fred Neck Engineering, and it's Fred Haskell, and uh, he was the first one that I ever saw do this, so I just stayed with that. However, I know that there are other people that have built uh, evaporators out of the same material and some smaller and probably a whole lot more larger, but this is just uh, a 50 to 100 tree evaporator that we're gonna be building. We're excited, so basically what we're gonna do is just cut this top off. I've already got the the lines measured out and, and and uh, marked with soap so here's how it's going to happen over here we're going to have the chimney coming up the top and on this side here i'm going to have the uh, stove door kit i ordered a stove door kit i'll put a link to that down in the uh, down in the comments below and i'll put down the build and what it was that we measured and how we got to this whole process. I'm probably going to take this outside and do it because it's a beautiful day outside as far as temperature goes and it'll be better for ventilation if I'm standing outside in the open air and it's a little cool here on the concrete floor in the barn so you can probably hear the chickens in the background but that's okay. This is just life on the farm. Please like and share this video and subscribe to our channel to help us get to a thousand subscribers so that we can put a live chicken coop cam for you. Click I'll that notification bell and we'll be friends forever. All right, let's get this build going. Here we are back in the old shop, and this is what I did so far to the sap evaporator. And uh, so I basically just, I just cut this top right off of here. And then what I'm going to do today is right here in the front, I'm gonna install my stove kit, my camp stove kit. And I'm also going to cut here to put the stove camp flange for the chimney. And this here piece will be gone. The uh, fill spout will be gone and I'll have a chimney on there. And uh, I'm going to build a bulkhead inside. And then in the bottom, of course, I'm, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself, but in the bottom we put sand to help with the heat, to hold the heat and then uh, on top of the sand, we're gonna place uh, bricks and that'll also help hold the heat. So as the project continues here over the next uh, few hours, I will keep you informed on that. It's exciting. I was just out a while ago and I plowed a spot for uh, where we're gonna boil the sap and also with just a tiny little trail up into the woods to start off with, and then I'll have little tributaries after that. Well, and here's the finished product, everybody. And I know that I got some pictures loaded up here and, and uh, lots of stuff. We're just doing the first initial burn off in this here. And see, I got my fire bricks lined on the inside, or bricks, I guess, and and my, got about 24 inches or so in there for a nice big fire box. And uh, so, 
This is the burn off. Now, when the better weather comes, I will certainly grind this down with the grinder, you know, and the wire brush, and then I'll put the I'll put the heat to it. Now, see what my plan is after we get the burn off done and everything. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut a couple of holes here for my pans to fit in. And then back here, uh, this is 3 16 gauge here, and this here stuff's lighter. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put just a little warming pan here, and this will be the boil off over here. Just got a simple little setup, and we're outside, so it's gonna be a little cool. But I'm gonna build a, a shelter. This here's my trail into the woods here, where I have all of my trees marked off to start tapping here in a few weeks. I would say two or three weeks, I'll have nice trails built in there and we'll start tapping right around the end of February, 1st of March and get everything up and running. And I'll put a video up too when we're doing our sap and when we get things to a rolling boil and whatnot, it'll be a, it'll be a great time. We're, we're looking forward to having some family time and some fun time right here around the old sap evaporator. Thank you for watching another episode of the McGuire Homestead. I'm Todd McGuire and uh, I'm glad that you've tuned in watching this sap evaporator video that we've done for you and, and uh, I, I said earlier that we will show you when we get to sap boiling. We've got all of our stuff done up here. I, I made a few more trails up there today so thank you so much and like always please like and subscribe to our channel and uh, we would love to have you sharing our videos and hitting those notification bells and the whole thing. So from Delbert and all the gang here at the McGuire Homestead, keep your eye on the sky and your stick on the ice. Over and out.